Hi, this is John with the Garmin Marine Team, and today we're going to show you one way to install a GSD24 sonar black box using a transducer that is already on the boat. Either an existing Garmin transducer or a non-Garmin transducer. Either way, the installation is possible using the transducer adapter box. Okay, so this is the transducer adapter box, and it comes with every GSD24. Again, you do not need to use this transducer adapter box if you're using a new Garmin 8-pin differential transducer. This is just if you have a Garmin 6-pin legacy transducer or a non-Garmin transducer. First thing you're going to do is cut off the old transducer plug and feed it into the box. Use your wire strippers to remove about 3.5 inches of the outer cable jacket and foil shield. Then, use your wire strippers to remove about a quarter inch of the insulation from each of the internal wires. If you have a Garmin Legacy transducer, we provide a pinout with the GSD24 to show you exactly how to wire in the old transducer using the transducer adapter box. If you have a non-Garmin transducer, you're going to have to contact the manufacturer of the transducer or the manufacturer of the equipment and get the specifications on that transducer and then use this legend for guidance on how to wire the transducer. Okay, so we've used our wire color table to make our connections. You can see in this installation that we've got an extra brown wire. I'm just going to go ahead and trim that brown wire off and then put everything into the transducer adapter box. Now one thing to remember is that if your transducer does not have temperature capability, you must install a jumper wire between connectors 4 and 5 on the wire block. In this case, we don't have to because our transducer has a temperature sensor that we have hooked up. Now go ahead and put the cover back on the transducer adapter box and mount it very closely to the GST24. We now need to connect the transducer adapter box to the GST24 as well as our network cable and our power cable and your installation is complete. Once you've completed the installation of the GST24 black box, and the transducer, the last thing you need to do is do a software update. The unit will not recognize the GST24 box unless you do the software update. To make this as easy as possible, we include the software update in with the GST24. Simply open up the chart door, insert the SD card into the slot, touch the update software button, and then follow the instructions on screen. Now that we've done our software update, you'll see the sonar icon on the home screen. Last thing we want to do is to make sure that GST24 is recognizing our transducer properly. The way to do that is to go to the Sonar, Menu, touch the More button, Installation, and Transducer Diagnostics. On this page, you can see that the GST24 is recognizing the transducer, and you can verify that the information on the transducer is correct. Your GST24 should now be giving you some great sonar returns thanks to its sensitive receiver and exceptional target resolution. If you have any more questions about the GST24, go to garmin.com forward slash marine or talk to any one of our authorized installing dealers. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the water.